Hey everyone, this is Mocha, and uh, <laughs> Hush I suppose, at least at this moment in time. The name will change, as it always does. But I think it's going to be really useful if everybody who joins the server starts off by creating a profile, and this will be really useful since we got a lot of people here who play different characters and it's nice to know who they play without having to always create discussions on Oh, is that your main? Or who do you play? And so on and so forth. So with that in mind, I'm going to take you down to the bot channel and please always do this in the bot channel because everyone has it muted and it doesn't bother anyone. So to start off, I currently don't have a profile and though although I used to have one and I deleted it all for the purpose of this video, it's mine's gonna look like this. Yours is probably gonna give you an error message that says you don't have a profile, but starting it off is exactly the same for everyone. I'll give you an example of what the profile looks like and how you can find someone else's profile real quick. So all you gotta do is type dot profile, and if you don't want to look at your own, you can actually put the name of the person who's one you want to look at. Someone who has a really nice one is actually Ethan. At least we like to call him that. So if you take a look at his, even though he's offline, you get to see this really nice looking profile. It'll show you his tag, his Switch FC if you want to add him, all of his mains, and he took the liberty of putting which game he mains all these characters in, whereas I personally prefer not to because I think it's unnecessary. You can also change the color and have a gift put up here and anything of the sort, so it's all perfectly fine. Okay, with that in mind, we should probably get started building our own one, and the best way to do that is to put our actual tag in, so that's .sp, and that's going to be the one that you're going to be using to add anything new. You put the word tag in there, keep this lowercase, all of these have to be lowercase to make it work, and then the name that you want. We'll set that one down, and you'll see that my tag has been updated, so if we go to .profile one more time, there it is. So now we're going to start adding the rest of them, I will not be showing you the updates except for maybe when we do some major ones. The game will be Smash and Ultimate. These ones you can capitalize, but the word games has to be lowercase. We'll put that one in there. Starting off, we'll move on to our mains. So for this one, you want to be really careful with how you spell the names. There are a lot of different variations. So for example, Zero Suit Samus, you could write Zero Suit Samus or ZSS. But for some characters, it won't work that way. So it's best to just play it safe and put the actual full spellings for them. And I'll show you what that is at the end. And there we go. For Rosalina and Luma, it has to be the at symbol, not the word and. We put that one in there. Of course, if any of them does not work, as you can see, that one did not work because I accidentally put a comma after the word mains. So we'll just go ahead and highlight that one, bring it back down here, remove this comma, and that should do the trick. Go dot profile one more time. And there we go. As you can see, all of them came successfully. If you misspelled one of them, it will still give you the success message, but it will just not appear. Okay, so I'll show you that one more time, but what I'm going to do is add someone whose name was spelled incorrectly, like Donkey Kong. You do this, it will not tell you... Well, actually, it's because I did this again. And I have a tendency to do this for no reason. Remove that one, and there we go. You see, it's updated successfully, even though Donkey Kong is in there. You go ahead and do dot .profile, and what you'll see is that it'll just ignore him. He wasn't correct, so he doesn't get put in. Now we'll do .sp secondaries, and this is secondaries with IES at the end, not .secondary by itself. And mine actually is Donkey Kong. Put that one in there, and that is fine. .sp pockets, and from here, my three pockets are actually, well, I have a lot of pockets, but the ones that I'm going to consider my pockets will be these three right here. Move back from there, and from there we've updated those, so we can just take a quick look at it if we're interested, .profile, and you should see it's starting to look a lot nicer now. From there, let's go ahead and add my Switch FC, so we'll go .sp switch, that's for going to be my uh, friend code. You're going to find this one on your Switch, I already have my noted down, so we're going to put that one right there. My region is actually the Middle East, but there is no Middle East here, it's not on the list. You can only use continents for this one, and therefore we're going to use Europe. The reason why is because I visit a lot, and I also used to live there. Next. Auto speed. We'll put a note, and you can put anything as your note. Mine is going to be the true faker. It's good to know. And finally, you could put an image in there, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But starting off, if you take a look at it, it actually will automatically have the same banner that you put in the past. Mine was green. If you want to change it to anything else, you can. But the way that you do it is simply auto speed color, spelled with the O U R, I believe. Then you bring this one up here, and you can just go ahead and type anything you want. You have to get the actual hash code to get it to work, but whatever you use, you just take that one from there, close that one off, and just slot it in that way. 
Okay, and there you go, the color's been updated. So if we go dot profile again, what you'll see is that it's actually a slightly different green right now. And that's all you have to do. The last thing we want to do is add an image. Of course, I'll need a moment to figure out how to do that, because I just don't remember. Okay, I have now figured out how it needs to be done. It's a really simple process. You just go .sp image URL, and from there you have to put in the actual link that's going to take you to the image that you want. Make sure it ends with a .png, and if you need to know how to do that, just go onto Google, find the image that you want, right-click it, find image URL, and from there you'll have this. You set that one down. That's the image URL I'm using right now because everything I use involves floating mountains. And from there, all we gotta do is dot profile. And we are now successfully finished with building this. Now I know it took me about five and a half minutes or so, but I did try to explain it. So I hope that you all find this really easy. And remember, you can find anybody's profile. A profile at Otago, our own king here. And all good! Of course he pockets half the cast, but that's fine too. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, welcome to the server. I also just recognized that I had forgotten to include two things at the end of this. The first one is if you have any problems and you want to see it again without having to watch the whole video, you can just type dot profile help, and that's going to get you a DM with all the commands sent right to your inbox. Check that one in there, here is a list of everything that I just explained to you written down in a nice off. Um, easy to read format. On top of that, this is a list of all the characters from all of the different Smash games that you're welcome to use as necessary. And here are all the regions that you're able to use. And finally, if you want to do what Ethan used to use, where he would have the name of the game after the character in case you play multiple Smash games, then all you have to do is type the name, .sp mains, Lucario for example, and then you put the name of the game in brackets, or parentheses to be specific. And you can do that for all the characters, and that's all you need to do. And, uh, yep, that concludes it. Have a nice one. I probably should also add, they will be notified when you do this, because you are technically pinging them. Yes.